you would say doing a, a 24 hour food recall that we did this morning with Emily um, I guess working as a stick three student or, or a gym instructor in a gym the idea is to um, obviously sit down with the client and sort of work out their needs and, and what they want to achieve by working in the gym um, so part of that obviously first and foremost is sort of a basic medical screening um, before we get on to any sort of assessment so I guess the idea here is that quite often in uh, in a gym you get clients coming in that have been told they needed to start training by their doctor at some stage is, is part of sort of a complementary medicine or um, lifestyle change that they want to do to try and avoid a particular issue that they've got um, and so obviously as a gym instructor we want to make sure that that client is aware of what they'll be doing and, and that they are sort of helping them right, uh, to continue with this and quite often than not you will pick up um, I guess potential problems that could become of an issue if you don't acknowledge them and, and obviously uh, do something with it uh, before we go and get on to the gym. So does everyone have a copy of the email that I sent out or the, the scenario script there? Yep. Yep, I got one. Me too. Got one. Who's the client? Is that you, Glenn? Yeah, it's me, Bob. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> All right, I guess if uh, if everyone's ready to go, um, we might just uh, get you guys to run it and see how we go. Uh, hopefully everything will work out like I'd planned. Hey Bob, great to see you. Welcome to CIT Fit and Well. How are you today? Oh, it's great to be here. I'm really looking forward to it. I'm well fit as a fiddle. That's fantastic. Well, let's just make sure of that and um, go through your medical screen, which um, I have in front of me, but it uh, looks like you haven't actually filled it in. So how about we just have a quick little chat? So you think you're pretty much right and ready to go. I really am. I really think I'm ready to go. Do we really need to fill it out? I used to be an athlete. Oh, I was awesome. Where were you? That's great. Um, what were you when you were an athlete? I was a marathon runner. Oh, fantastic. Um, how did you find doing that? And when was your last marathon? It's a while ago. Um, probably, I don't know, 25, 30 years ago, but you know, I still maintain good form, walk every day. Excellent. Now, just going through um, the, the screen, it's, uh, can you tell me what your BMI is? Do you know your BMI, Craig? Uh, no, I'm pretty skinny, that's all. As it looks like you have been a marathon runner, you've definitely got that uh, body shape. <laughs> Thank you very much. You're being nice. Okay, so have you? You haven't been to the the doctors recently. I go for my yearly checkup. The doctor says everything's fine, everything's good, no problems at all. Just do some exercise again. He wants me to. Okay, was there a reason why he wanted you to get back into the exercise? More so than what you're already doing? Um, because I'm getting on a little bit, and you know, uh, yeah, yeah, in my age, you, you need to do more exercise, I think, so I'm ready to go. All right, so it says here that um, you have suffered uh, some chest pains in the past. Uh, can you give me a little bit more information about that? Um, look, they're not really that important. Yeah, I had a few chest pains a while back, but the doctor's got me on some medication, um, and, mm. and he said something about my blood pressure was a bit high, but um, life's good now. You know, the medication's got it all going well. I don't know what it's called, but, you know, it'll be okay. I'm fine. Can we go? Well, unfortunately, I need to know a little bit more information about that medication. By the sounds of it, um, it's been a bit of a heart condition that... Uh, you may not um, want to discuss too much, but if, if, for example, we just went straight 
went to the gym and started exercising, uh, though that medication could alter your blood pressure in a way that um, we're not realising and push you to the to the limit, and uh, something could. Um, happen and uh, you may not be able to exercise for a long time after that. So we really need to make sure that you're as, um, as, as right to go as you can be and if there is something up, that's not a problem at all. All we need to know is, is know what to do and then we can uh, write your program accordingly. So you're, you're not sure you can remember the medication? Uh, actually, it's a loop diuretic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, no, I can. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's okay. Look, really, honestly, the doctor said, get out, get some exercise, you know, look after yourself. And, and so I'm ready to go. He said I'll be fine. All right. So uh, I know he said you'll be fine, but um, have you managed uh, any chance to get a uh, report from him stating that? The main reason like, I hate to do this, and I know you're just so excited to get in here and get exercising, but um, unfortunately, you know, we, at this day and age, we have to, we have to ourselves and these forms need to be um, filled in and completed. Um, so by the by the looks of it, I, what I reckon we should do is I'll take you through the gym, show you what, what we do have, but uh, I think I really need your doctor to give us a, a signature to say that everything's fine and right to go. But the doctor sort of agreed to it by saying, look, go and get exercise, everything. He's happy with the medication, been on it for about five years now, not a problem. When I walk fast, I feel really good still. Oh, that, that's understandable, but um, you did mention that it was been quite a while since you did have been to the doctor. So, um, what I unfortunately um, just the messenger here, but the way our rules and regulations are, because of uh, what you filled in for your medical history, uh, we do unfortunately need that that signature. Now, all that needs to be is maybe just give your doctor a, a ring, and um, he can just fax that through to us, and then we'll be right to go. And then um, you'll you'll have the the program that's that's right and for you, and uh, you'll achieve all your goals as as we've discussed. Is, is there anything that I could start doing that wouldn't affect my blood pressure? You know, something a little light. Maybe I don't have to go for a run. Could I start now and then I'll get the doctor to give you uh, a letter? Well, if, you, if you're that um, uh, adamant, well, ha luckily for you, we have a heart moves class just starting in, in about half an hour or so, and that would probably be fantastic for you because it, it's light to moderate exercise and um, de designed for, for people coming back into rehab or not exercising and I know you're an, uh, you have been an athlete but until you've gotten that doctor's signature that would pretty much be the level of exercise that I'd be wanting you to be doing. Uh, is the one of those soon? Uh, yes, uh, half an hour actually if you if you wanted to um, fill in, have, have a look at them. <laughs> oh, I'm ready to go. I'll just go for a bit of a warm-up walk and I'll be back in five minutes ready to start my class. That's great. Excellent. Well, I look forward to getting that doctor's certificate and then we'll be able to go through and write you out your program accordingly. Done. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, guys. That was, uh, that was really well done. Um, I guess... It Towards the end, it's, it's kind of ignored, or I've sort of realised a few things that I want to change with the scenario. But um, I guess we did get uh, the end result that I was sort of looking for there, in that the trainer sort of stood their ground to a certain extent and said, look, we can't get you to start because I've uh, sort of identified some sort of heart problem that you've had in the past, and although you've got, currently got no symptoms for it, it doesn't mean that uh, it's not there anymore and that it's gone.